Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla News, episode 60. Tesla might become the most valuable company in the world very soon. Tesla is still growing in the US, even though competition has arrived. And Tesla might be opening their supercharging networks to other EVs. And Tesla might be building a new factory in China. And have you ever seen a Tesla fly before? Well, stick around to the end of this show and you will. All this and much more to come in today's episode. Let's dive right in. Let's put our living stereo stylus in this groove. And we got some new tidbits about Tesla's production rate, directly from Elon Musk. Thanks to a tweet from Sawyer, we know Elon held a company-wide call that was mostly a 2020 review. But he did say that full self-driving subscription should be available in six weeks. But I'll get back to that in a moment. And that he does believe that Tesla has a chance of delivering 1 million cars in 2021. As you will know if you follow my channel, over 1 million cars in 2021 has been my predictions since last year. So again, we just get a little confirmation that Tesla's production capacity is much higher than many Wall Street analysts are talking about and think because Tesla officially have only said their target for 2021 is 50% growth or 750,000 cars. But Tesla is just sandbagging here, making sure that no matter what happens with all the new technology, like the new batteries, like the batteries to structure design, the new casting machine, the new paint shop and so on, and two new factories coming online as well. So a lot of things can go wrong, but no matter what, they should be able to hit their target of 750,000 cars. The Fremont factory alone is producing about 600,000 cars per year, and the Shanghai factory should be able to have a capacity about 500,000 thousand cars this year so even without the two new factories Tesla should easily be able to deliver 750,000 cars and still have a shot of the 1 million cars with those two factories alone and when Elon is tweeting something it usually means something and he did answer whole mass catalog when he was tweeting about Tesla becoming bigger than Apple because the insane amount of money that Tesla would start earning when they saw full self-driving. And Elon did reply back. I think there is above a 0% chance that Tesla could become the biggest company in the world. Elon is usually very conservative on things like this. So for him to say something like this on Twitter, and he did tweet and later deleted a tweet that said probably in a few months. So maybe we are getting very close as something really big here. Because Elon has also been tweeting about full self-driving, that the download button for the full self-driving will become available here in April, and the subscription for the full self-driving, as I mentioned, in six weeks, and the big new release of full self-driving software will come in April. So I do think Tesla is very close to come out with a new version of the full self-driving software that would blow our minds and are closer than anyone thinks to solving full self-driving. Why else would Elon think that Tesla would become one of the most valuable company in only a couple of months? Only full self-driving would be able to make Tesla's value skyrocket like that. This could of course be absolutely nothing. We are of course just speculating here. Maybe Elon didn't even talk about Tesla's valuation with this deleted tweet. Maybe it was just a wrong tweet that he deleted. But that would of course be very boring, not very fun to speculate about. But it could also be a little hint that one of the biggest disruption ever will happen very soon. That is much more exciting, right? But what do you think? Was this nothing or was this really something? Tesla is doing great in the US as we already know, but even though the competition has come in the form of a Ford Mark E, Tesla is still growing in the US. 
Tesla continues to gain speed according to Experian. New vehicle registrations for Tesla grew 18% in January compared to the same month a year earlier, even though we now have some competition. Tesla also increased 45% on a rolling three months basis, measured from November 2020 throughout January 2021 compared to a year before. And as Elon did predict, the Model Y would become Tesla's best selling car by far. Well, it has already become the best selling EV in the US in January, taking the crown from the Tesla Model 3. The Model Y sold 11,461 in January, just ahead of the Model 3 that sold 10,151 out of the total amount of 23,974 Teslas sold in the US in January alone. And if you live in the US, you can buy a Tesla with Apple Pay, credit card, or now Bitcoin. But it is not only in the US that Tesla is the best selling EV. In China, the Tesla Model 3 and the new Model Y that just started production in January is already the third best selling electric car. And maybe this is why Tesla raised the price of the Model Y in China with about 1200 US dollars. And Tesla is already expanding its global sales as we see the first Teslas arriving in Israel. That is so cool to see the excitement for Tesla finally coming to Israel. And let's check out the EU EV sales so far in 2021. So far Q1 2021, the Tesla Model 3 is still the best selling EV in Europe. This is of course only registrations from 11 countries, but it is about 80% of the EU EV market. So a pretty good representation of how it looks in Europe. And we can see that Volkswagen is the best selling brand, not just because of the new ID3, but even their little e-up is selling very well here in Europe. Europe with over 4,000 registrations in Q1 so far. Going to be so exciting to see what the Giga Berlin will do to these numbers when Tesla actually have a factory on the continent making cars. And see how Tesla's little SUV, the Model Y, will do in this market. If it will also become more popular than the Model 3 that is already the best selling car in Europe as we have seen it in the US. Then Tesla could really start taking off in Europe with two popular models on the street instead of just one. And we have some rumors about Tesla potentially opening up their charging networks to other EVs. It was Bill here on Twitter that has been very reliable on rumors before that said Tesla would be opening their supercharging network to other EVs and not in collaboration with other OEMs, but directly with the customers. As he wrote, no other EV company, no other OEMs, Tesla and the customers, end of story. So this could potentially be a very big thing. Of course, Tesla in the US would need to start selling some adapters. But here in Europe, we all have the same charging plug. So in theory, they should just be able to open it up. And then the other EV owners would probably have to download the Tesla app and take care of the payment through the app and just control it all from in there. And then Tesla could add a little extra cost to third party users, especially in countries like mine, where Tesla's charging price is about half the price of the competition. So they could easily add 50% on the price for third party users and still be the cheapest charging option in my country. And of course, have much faster charging than most other charging stations and a lot more stalls. The only downside for us Tesla users is that there is the potential for more crowded charging stations. But as we know, Tesla is being very aggressive with making charging stalls in his China factory, up to 10,000 charging stalls per year. So maybe Tesla is really gearing up here to make the world's largest charging network much larger to accommodate not only Tesla users, but also other EV users. And since no other other OEM has ever taken Tesla up on their offer of getting in on their charging network, Tesla just seems to be doing this themselves, going directly to the customers of other OEMs and giving them the opportunity to use Tesla's charging network. That could be a very good thing for all EV users and a new potential income for Tesla. And if you were thinking, how am I going to change gears in my new Tesla Model S with a yoke steering wheel? Well, now we know.
because we did get a lot of pictures of what might be the new version 11 user interface in the refreshed Model S. And we can also see on the pictures, the big screen is a 17 inch instead of a 15 inch like it is in the Model 3 and Model Y. And you can also tilt it from side to side, very cool. And it should have the drag strip mode and an option for putting it into insane mode. Oh yeah. And you will also have a little new menu like a quick launch control center for the most used features. But as you can see on the left hand side there, there is a little car shown. And we did see a little video on Twitter with the new user interface where you can select the gear on the screen by pulling the little car back and forward. And it doesn't violate the rules, Nitsa says, so I guess the yoke steering wheel is good to go. And China is going to restrict the use of Teslas for state and military employees. So nothing we really should worry about here. There are cameras in Tesla vehicles and they are constantly recording data for Tesla. So China is afraid that Tesla could be sending data back to the US to spy on China. But if it was the other way around, I don't think it would be much different. I don't know, but could imagine that nobody in the Pentagon is carrying around a Huawei phone either. But I think this just made some good headlines for the news articles, but nothing we should be concerned about. The military advised Tesla owners to park their cars outside of the military property, so maybe the Tesla vehicles will not be as popular with state and military personnel. But Tesla is still the best selling EVs in the country, so I don't think this is going to be much of a problem for Tesla sales in China, or something we should be concerned concerned about. And speaking of China, let's take a look at the Gigafactory 3 in Shanghai because Tesla might be building a new factory. On March the 1st, it was revealed that Shanghai is selling a plot of land over 460,000 square meters located near Tesla's Giga Shanghai factory for the construction of a new energy vehicle manufacturing facility. It is not confirmed that this is Tesla, but everything points to Tesla. And we do also see a lot of new land being cleared just on the other side of the river south of Giga Shanghai, as T-Study YouTube channel shows in his video that this area is the size of about 460,000 square meters so it fits perfectly for the land that Shanghai sold. And the speculation is of course that this could be the factory for the model. Too, because we know that the ones that are going to buy this land have to make new energy vehicles on this land. So it will be an EV production. And they already have the Model Y and the Model 3 going in China and soon also in Europe and the Tesla factory in Texas. So it would only make sense to start production of the Made in China Model 2 or whatever it will be called in this factory. And that car will really be a game changer for Tesla. So if this is the case, this could be very exciting and knowing Tesla's speed of constructing factories and seeing they are already moving Earth on the land. Well, in theory, we could see production of Tesla's $25,000 made in China Model 2 in just a year from now getting me very excited about 2022. I will leave a link to T-Study's video down below. And Tesla's mission is to leave the Earth a little bit better than they found it. And the same thing goes from Kronheide. Tesla did cut down a lot of trees to build the Gigafactory Berlin and is still clearing trees for more construction. But it was just a forest that was man-made for making lumber anyway, so not a big deal. But Tesla will still plant three times as many trees as they have cut down. And Tesla's reforestation program at the Gigabellin factory is moving forward almost at the same pace as the factory, with more than 60% having already been planted. The remaining 40% will be planted this fall. Very cool. And we did also see some pictures from the Wolfpack Berlin that the second Giga casting machine is already being assembled. And let's take a fly over with Joe Tackmeyer over the Gigafactory 5 in Texas, where we can see they are getting really far with the casting area, with most walls up and the roof getting insulated. And we do see they are already putting robots into the building, even without any walls up. Tesla is not wasting any time here. 
And let's squeeze the last short news topics into this news show. Yes, it's time for the Tesla Shorts. According to a new study done by T&E, electric cars use about 300 to 400 times less resources than an ICE car over their lifespan. I did just make a whole video about this, so if you want to dive into this, go check that one out. I will leave a link in the description. Tesla and other EV makers win major first step in selling directly to customers without having going through a dealership in the US state Connecticut. Nice. And have you ever seen a flying Tesla? Well, now you have. Polaris has an all-new 100% electric Ranger slated to enter the market later this year and is now releasing its first ever video showing it in action. Looks very cool. I will leave a link to their whole video down below. Elon Musk gave us a little treat about the Cybertruck when asked for it on Twitter. The Cybertruck will not have handles. Oof, nice. We probably already have seen how this will work on a video from the roaster, where a guy showed us that he opened the door with just a swipe. Slide it across. And remember, if Elon ever gets into a scandal, he wants us to call it Elon Gate. And we do see more and more of New York's iconic yellow taxis becoming Teslas. And they have even been so nice to put on a little sticker telling people how to open the door. Nice. And we get a little confirmation on the semi-trucks, because 15 of Tesla's semi-trucks are expected to be delivered to Pepsi this year, according to Pepsi. DHL Express has been trailing 9 Lightning Electric Ford Transit 350HD electric vans. What a mouthful. Since late last year in the United States, the pilot has been going well and the company now intends to put another 89 on the roads of California and New York. And another police department joined the many that are getting Tesla Model 3 as their new police car. This time it is Barrier Police Department. And we see why Tesla's autopilot is so important. Whole Mars Catalog shared this video on Twitter where Tesla saw the kid coming out behind the cars and stopped. Nice job, little Tesla. And before we end off with a bit of fun, I just want to give a quick shout out to my newest patrons and members of this YouTube channel. IP Sowers or Larry, Parmot Gandhi, Trent Leon, Tesla Space Pilot, Alex Mask, Paul Daniel Richter, Douglas Estman. And I thank you for watching members, Jack Hodges, Alex Mask again, thank you Alex, Ole Leron, Mark Ricardson, David Banning. Thank you so much for your support. I am doing this all by myself, but you guys are all the producers of this show. Thank you so, so much. And let's end off with a bit of fun. You all know we have been hearing about the competition is coming for Tesla for a very long time, but we rarely hear this about SpaceX. But here is a picture of SpaceX Super Heavy System. And here is the competition. Oh, look at that little competition there. Oh, it's so cute. It's a cute competition. <laughs> I know Rocket Lab and Astra are doing great works and target very different markets, but just fun to see how crazy big this super heavy monster is. Just mind blowing. And just to put the size into perspective, Ad Astra tweeted this picture that the little tiny rocket you see here is this big thing those 80 people from Rocket Lab is gathered around. Yeah, the SpaceX rocket is just out of this world. And later this year, they will go out of this world. Man, are we living in a special time right now. And that is all we have time for in this news episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps this video out a lot. And if you did like it, maybe you want to consider hitting that subscribe button or notification bell so you don't miss out on future episodes just like this one. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. If you want to support the channel even more, remember you can for as little as $1 become a patron of the show and get your shout out here on this channel. You can also become a member of Best in Tesla YouTube channel and get shout outs and some extra perks. Hit the members button to find out more. But going forward, I will make more videos available for patrons and members only. So 
don't miss out. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, I tweet all the news and more in there as it comes out. And check out the merch store to support this show and get some merchandise. And now it's also possible to support this show without buying anything, becoming a member or a Patreon. There is a link to a donation option in the show notes. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice. <laughs>